Hey, what's up guys? My name is Daniel and today we're going to be doing a tactical gearheads of the two different loadouts that I'm going to be using at the upcoming Assault on Antioch game sponsored by Spartan Imports happening on July 12th and 13th at GamePod Combat Zone in Antioch, California. So for this game, I'm going to be rocking three different guns over the course of that weekend and because of that I have two different loadouts, but before I get into that, let me show you some of the static gear that I'm going to be wearing all weekend long. Starting with the top of my head, I'm using a tan condor tactical cap, I'm using a pair of lancer tactical goggles, and for a face mask, this is the Hakatsu lower face mask that I've been using for quite some time. I'm also going to be wearing a GoPro on the top of my head to get a lot of footage to share with you guys later on, which we do now sell here at airsoftgi.com. I will also be wearing the Hatch x tac knee pads in tan, along with Under Armour Valsets boots that I picked up on recommendation from Bob personally, and I have definitely not regretted that decision in any way whatsoever. Now this first loadout I'm going to show you guys is for the two M4s I'm going to be using this weekend. Some of you guys may have seen it before, but this is the Blue Force Gear 10 speed M4 chest rig. Now I like this chest rig a lot because it's extremely lightweight and functional. I'm primarily going to use this loadout when I'm on the front lines assaulting with my troops, which is why it mostly has magazines and grenades. I did decide to add a Condor Double M4 Stacker magazine so I can fit four more mags for a lot more ammo. Thrown to be here in the middle in case I need to chuck that at my enemy. And I also have my favorite TUC or Tactical Universal clip on the right side. As for the two M4s I'm going to be using, Spartan Imports is gracious enough to allow me to use one of their classic army M15A4 SVCs. Now this is a pretty basic M4 that originally comes with a handguard, but I decided to put on an AMP rail system on it aftermarket. And also it does come with a crane stock, which is where the battery is wired, which made the installation of the rail a lot easier. Now the other gun I'm taking out is my custom M4 that has recently undergone some changes. Now this is still the same lightweight M4 that some of you guys may have seen in the past, but I recently changed out the mock suppressor to be an MK16 style flash hider, changed out the iron sights, and also changed the stock to a stubby stock so I can fit a bigger battery, along with add the TUC on the stock itself to mount to my gear whenever I need to. All right, now let's jump into the next loadout, which features a classic army P90. For my second loadout, Spartan Imports was gracious enough to allow me to use their brand new Classic Army CA90 TRXT. Now I was super stoked to find out that I was going to get a chance to use this P90 mainly because it comes pre-installed with the full metal rail system. It does also come included with the stubby grip and built-in red dot sight. Now as for the loadout, I had to tailor it specifically for the P90 mainly because the magazines are definitely very unique. I decided to go with the Condor Modular Chest Rig because it's lightweight and still carries all the gear that I need, but more specifically, it has enough length to accommodate for the extra long P90 magazines. Now I specifically set up these pouches in this configuration because I wanted to access my magazines quickly with my left hand in case I needed to do a speed reload. So for this event, I'm going to be Bob's XO, so this loadout was also designed to help me command the troops on the field. So besides rocking a radio for communication, which is one of the key aspects of leading troops on the field, I'm also rocking this Condor map pouch. This map pouch is going to be extremely helpful to show my troops where they need to be and where they need to go to achieve their objectives. I'm also going to be taking a pair of backup gloves. These are the brand new Mechanics 0.5 millimeter gloves that are extremely thin that allow for very high dexterity. Now the last two things I'm going to have on this loadout is going to be an M4 pouch that I'm going to be using for a Thunderbee grenade and also my Elite Force kill rag. Well I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Tactical Gearheads and I can't wait to see you guys at Assault on Antioch happening on July 12th and 13th. Be sure to check the description below for the game tickets. Once again guys, I'm Daniel, this is GITV and thanks for watching.